Hi, and welcome to another friggin' dope Chris Kendall VFX tutorial. Today, I'm going to teach you how to do light wrap in Blender. So, let's open up our file. Let's say that you have a character and a background, and you want to integrate the character into the background a little bit better. And you can do this by doing a technique known as light wrapping. And light wrapping is basically where the color from the background spills onto the subject. There are lots of ways to do light wrap in Blender. But here is one of the simplest ways that I've found to do light wrap in Blender. So let's start by moving our background and our render layers over a little bit so we can have more room. Move this down. And now what we want to do is add a mix node. We can do this by doing Shift A and then searching for mix and just adding that in there. And now we want to plug the background image into the bottom slot. Now you should get this. This looks a little bit weird, but this will be fixed soon enough. So now what we have to do is we have to change mix here to another blend mode. In this case, I'll do lighten. Next, what we want to do is we want to plug the alpha from the render layer into our factor for the lighten. Next, what we want to do is we want to add another node, and this time we want to do dilate and erode. Let's add that onto the alpha wire, just like this. There we go. Now what we want to do is we want to change the distance to make it a negative value so that we can go inside of our object. Let's change it to a value such as negative 20. And now, this is pretty much the opposite of what we want. The inside of the character is lit up while the edges are not. We want to invert this effect, and to do this, we will do invert. So just search for an invert node and add it onto the alpha wire. Now you should see this effect. Next, what we want to do is we want to change step here to feather. And now our effect is almost done. We want to add another mix node and change the bottom color to black. Next, we want to make it so that nothing is affected except for the alpha. So now, let's take the alpha from our render layer and plug it into the factor of our mix node. Next, we want to hit this button here to include the alpha of the second input, which is this, in our operation. So, let's click that button. And now, we can change the alpha of this to add or remove light wrap. Now we have about half. Let's change to exactly half. And now we can see our effect. And just look at that. Full light wrap. No light wrap. Half light wrap. The last thing we want to do is we want to make it so that the lighten doesn't affect anywhere except for within the bounds of our object. So. Lastly, we'll take this alpha from our object and plug it into the factor of our alpha over. And that's it. You now have light wrap in Blender. Well, that's it for this tutorial. The node setup will be in the description of this video. Well, I guess that's it. This has been a friggin' dope Chris Kendall VFX tutorial.